What's going on YouTube? Ben, I'm back again. Another CPU cooler unboxing real quick. This time from the good folks over at Cryowig by way of the H5. Seeing some of their previous stuff in, I'm quite excited to get this bad boy out of the box and see how well it holds up to the rest of the coolers I've tested. But before we do, let's have a closer look. Getting the CryoRig H5 out of the box. And CryoRig has done something um, a bit innovative, a bit something I've never seen before. I was actually quite surprised. Um, you will notice that the cooler itself is packed inside another cardboard encasing here, as we can see. But what they've also done is they've gone ahead and protected it with the mounting hardware and installation packs on either side. On the right side here, we have the AMD pack. And on the left side is the Intel um, mounting brackets, which is quite a unique feature. So you can go ahead and well pull that out. And as we can maybe kind of see there, there is mounting hardware in there, which is something I've never personally seen before. The CryoRig H5 is compatible with a number of AMD and Intel CPUs. And as such, CryoRig have provided all of the mounting hardware that will be necessary when installing on any socket type that it is compatible with. Inside the box, we will of course have an installation instructions, um, mounting brackets including back plates, fan retention clips, screws and bolts and all that stuff to get us going. They've also included some of their CP9 thermal paste and a screwdriver so that we have everything we need right out of the box and we don't have to go searching for any tools. We can go ahead and get the CryoRig H5 installed with ease. Getting the H5 out of the box and we can see it features a nice XT140 fan. The dimensions of the cooler itself are 98 by 143 by 160 millimeters and as we can see here behind the fan itself it features quite a unique design. Uh, the holes in the fins look a little bit bigger than normal and this should hopefully and help, help improve airflow throughout the heat sink itself which will of course help us dissipate the heat better. Moving around the heat sink we can of course see the sides here they've got some um, areas where you can see through and some areas where it's kind of blocked off. Onto the back is more of a um, standard fin array here it's just the normal fins lined up no um, special designs or anything. Onto the top here we can of course see the cryo rig logo. We also notice the two holes which serve dual purposes in allowing us to insert the screwdriver to go ahead and install the cooler on the mounting brackets and it will also help dissipate a little bit of the heat out um, of the fin array so that's quite nice it's definitely handy it also helps make things a bit smaller and easier to get installed Moving on down to the bottom, we can of course see the um, PWM connector for the fan and that the H5 features four nicely spaced out uh, heat pipes that go right into the contact plate here which while it does have a bit of a mirror finish to it, it's a bit more brushed than mirror I would say so it is reflective but a bit more brushed. And that is pretty much it for our closer look and little overview of the H5. Uh, I look forward to testing this out. As always, big thanks to the folks at CryoRig for sending this in for review. Um, hopefully it keeps in line with all their other products. But the review will be live on Player.net in the coming weeks, so make sure to check for that. And as always, please stay tuned for more content in the near future.